Hello everyone, Fox Slow back again and in this episode we're just carrying on with the patterns in time where I finished off the last time we were we spoke to the uh, Viking and we've spoken to the Corvax now as you can see we've got to speak to a Gek cartographer now I wonder if he's going to send me back to one of my own systems again <laughs> because I can never remember the names of my systems emergency console, what's this? Unknown entity, Corvax, Korov endangered. What's this? Please help. What's this going on here? I have been hailed by a passing freighter. The life form who placed the call seems distressed, gently frantic. They seem in dire need of assistance. Oh, is this another battle? Ah, oh, let's have a look anyway. Um, oh yes, freighter. It's just a battle carried on then, isn't it? Remember the last one? I didn't want to do it. Um, where is he though? I can't see him. I can't see the icon leading to him. Is it one of them? Yeah, he's over there, look. Oh, look at that broken ship. <laughs> That's a graphical issue. I've had this before. Shall I ignore it? Oh, no, I can't ignore it now, can I? Let's go into first person. Let's oh, let's just shoot him up quick. I don't care if I hit the... Where is he? I've lost him. I don't care if I hit the freighter. That's it. Come on, go. On. Go! I'm even going to shoot at the freighter, I don't care. So, um, I don't normally fire the, at the uh, target while it's by the freighter. But as I don't particularly want it, I don't care. That was quick. That was quick. Let's get some money. From this half freighter. <laughs> Go on, then you. That's it. It's only a graphical glitch. When you reload, they actually come back into a um, full size, so yeah. Still got some problems, look. Unless it's been blown up. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get this out of the way so it'll be a while now before I get another battle. Once I've got my initial freighter I never bother looking for an S class. I've got an A class which I'm quite happy with. Once I've put all the stuff in it, do I really want to do that all over again? No thanks. I just don't bother. I've n I don't think I've ever had an S class freighter, ever. I don't think or I might have done early on, but I don't go looking for them now, it takes too long. Let's just get the money from him. No, anyway, request payment or get normally um, yeah, chromatic metal, that'll do it. Right, let's get on with the mission at hand, please. I never use a freighter to warp anywhere, so I don't actually use a freighter to warp from system to system. I never bother with that side of the game. Right, next one. Have I been here? Declining, oh crap. I hate going to low level uh, systems. Only one planet as well. Again, the, re the only reason I don't like low level systems is because of the amount of um, resources you can't buy. And it's crap. Anyway, let's have a look at the planet, it's got to be behind us. See what the planet is like, anyway. Unknown planet. Very dead. Oh! I central action. Let's have a look. You see, this is where I transgress those. If there's something I want to have a look at, I will do. Um, and I will always look at possible decent home planets. I don't know if it's decent. We'll see. 
decent for me is got to be low li lying hills. This looks a bit too high for me. Nah. I used to like Avatar Islands. There's a transmission tower there. But I'd rather pay for it now rather than looking for crash ships. To be quite honest, I think crash ships in the, on the whole are a waste of time. The RNG possibility of getting a augmentation is pretty low. Hmm. Let's see what it says, let's just land. Oh, and another thing I've discovered, I'll show you in a minute, where you can quickly get stuff with the ship. Get some resources with the ship, which is quite cool. Um, you just strafe the land, and you get quite a lot in a short period of time. Mostly calm, frequent, bountiful, common. Okay, not too bad then. Hmm. Yeah, the hills are too high. Not too bad, actually. But um, there you go, let's get the trees, shall we? Can we get the trees? No, not the rocks, I want some money. There we go. Sixty-four. Whoa, get that one. Hmm. Okay, ah. Is that it? Just two? Yeah, that'll do. No light? No reds anywhere? No, no, no. Okay. I'll just quickly show you how to farm resources with your ship. See all this? Nine, 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 nine. These are all done with the ship. Let's do a save. By strafing the ground. And you pick up quite a lot. You pick up quite a lot of resources. As long as you can find loads of rocks, steel, carbon, ferrite dust, look what's coming. And it actually farms quite a lot in a short period of time. As long as you're farming, see all those rocks? It'll even, wait, it'll even take, if you can hit that, condensed, it'll even take some of that. Carbon. So you've got some carbon there. So it's a really quick way, fun way, of getting some resources quickly. Because that'll get quite a lot. It won't get even though the hydrogen look, it will take that as well. It takes everything. Wait. Just strafe. Strafe all the rocks. Sometimes you can stand still enough, it'll take the trees down as well. <coughs> and get stuff from them. How much we got there, look. Look. Quite a bit actually. In that short period of time. Anyway, let's get on. Right. So yeah, it's another way of farming some um, mainly it's ferrite dust it picks up. It does pick up some pure ferrite as well. Occasionally, but mostly very dust. It's a good way of getting a big lump reasonably quick. Actually, quicker than mining. <coughs> Let's check the gun. I try and always check the gun when I come to a new station. Just in case, it is possible to get a an alien or a... Yeah, well not this time. <laughs> or an experimental. Because anyway. then I changed my S1 to that one. Right, let's carry on with the mission. Mr. Geki, where are you going to send me? Hello friend, friend in maps. Isfi, trade of Ich Afalo, guest guy Alpatega charts here, okay. <laughs> As the life form begins to speak, I hear a faint hum, the soft voice of Null, weaving the Gex words into something I can process. 
Yeah, because we're speaking with Noel's translation, aren't we? Information like that does not come for free, friend. Make me a deal. Perform work for my kin. Then we shall have something to speak about. Uh-oh, what have we got to do here? No, no missions. Please, no missions. Complete contact for... Oh, damn it. Here we go. It's silly missions. It's the only one that does the missions. Browse missions. There we go. Scan three minerals. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. That's for one. Except that's the only one he's got for the gek, though, isn't it? Damn. Um, kill 15 creatures. Um, oh, sugar. Deliver an item. We've got to do some of these to clear them. Um, well, we'll do that one. Except. Um, pending completion, kill creatures, yeah, except see if we can find a horror place somewhere. Deliver an item, yeah. Long distance shipment, we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, let's get rid of it. So it clears it, so it can give us <coughs> extra. Um, well, I'll accept that, that's it. Okay, right. Uh, that's it. Leave. Right, which one shall we do first? Scan you. Uh, let's do the uh, Gek one first. No, I don't do that. Not long distance scan. Impending lurking bus stop. Wait a minute. Where's the uh, pending competition? Cold creatures, where's the get one? That wasn't the get one, was it? Wait a minute, what's the what happened to the get? Hold on, let's double check that. I don't see the get mission there. Oh, scan three minerals, I didn't see the actual mission. It did say in progress, didn't it? Yeah, one, two, three, four. But I can only see three. New item recorded, target outside local. Mm, okay. Well, we won't do that first. Let's check that again. Log. Long distance mission. You see, it's not there. Cold creatures. Oh, creatures. Long distance shipments. Hmm. Oh, this is a bit weird. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's motion skill. That's bugging me now. Cuny says complex. <coughs> Tier 2 complete. Okay. Well, I've already done the weekend one. <coughs> um, scan three creatures, yeah. Um, scan three minerals. It's meant to be there, but I don't see the quest in the log. Secondary mission, you see we're long distance. Ah! That's why, that's, that's the one, that stupid boy, look. Virtual reality, I don't know why. Because I saw that icon, I thought it was something to do with that. So we need to uh, keep it on that one. Alright, scan, well, straight down to that other planet we were just on. Oh, I quite like that. 347. Mm. Anyway, let's get on. Let's just see if it does give us enough. Let's go on the day daylight side. I want to see if it will give us another get. Right, oh, from Apollo, what's the sea one? I'm sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know the time of day on your world, and that's the problem, isn't it? Good that you can say contact you a bit later. I 
Apollo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Ask whether ask if they're alright. It found me, just just like it found you. I can't feel my legs. Oh sugar. It's strange. I'm still in here, don't you understand? I won't let me it won't let me leave. It's it's seen me. Ask what they see. It showed me things. The outlet showed me my soul. The numbers in there. I Something I think about my past. Sometimes I think about my past. My future. Sometimes. I do what everyone in the universe does, I know. But I can't help but want to be happy. Money, doing what you're told, day after day. That's the answer, isn't it? So you don't know. I don't know the answer. Apollo stares at me as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak, their words passionate, higher. We'll hold next day or whatever. <laughs> at this point Apollo says nothing else but something, I don't know what. Something fills me with hope, both for my friend and for all life. Hmm, interesting. End communication. Cool. So yeah, like, like one of my viewers said, Scott, I would love them to make something more with Artemis and Apollo. But anyway, let's get down and scan some minerals. Because we haven't scanned anything other than two trees on this planet. So you should easily find two, three minerals. The planet is quite clear, but it's got the mountains and the Avatar Islands. Yeah. No likey. Okay, that's the first one. There's the second one, I hope. Yeah, and there's the third one. Now I should have updated, there we go. Let's go and um, chat to him, see if he's going to give us another one with a gek and then I won't bother with the other three. Just to get the mission out of the way. To the next part which will be the purge. But I will be doing the atlas with the purge I will think. Because they will come together. Now if you haven't got glyphs by this stage. By doing the purge each time. Because you've got to do 16 jumps. Each time you do a jump you will be given a glyph. Yeah, don't shoot it. <laughs> so that's another way of getting all the 16 glyphs. If you haven't gotten by this stage. I'm only doing this in the hope that it gives me another one for the get. With this RNG, whether they give you another one, you might have to clear it all. I don't know, we'll see. And in mission, three minerals. Standing increase with the get, yeah, okay, cool. Let's just see if that's updated first to be sure, yeah, one out of two, okay. Now I hope you've got another get mission for me. Powers missions. Oh, raid, oh, loose attack, raider planetary, hmm, if we can find one. Accept. Um, hmm. So yeah, loose attack. Got to find one. It won't show us one, I don't think. Destroy planetary depot. I should have a planetary depot. Oh, it has. Oh, it's got one for us. Oh, cool. How many did it want? One to destroy depot. Three of them. Or maybe it just means three of the towers that you find on them. I don't know. We'll see. Right, let's get to it quick. I will do it on foot anyway.
Come on, land. Land. Got to be somewhere you can land here. That'll do. Boy, that's a bit close, isn't it? Blow the ship up. <laughs> Let's discover it anyway. All right. Oh, it's cleared. Cool. Go on, float. The scatter blaster now is supreme. <laughs> yeah, as long as you can hit it. <laughs> A shotgun, and I'm missing. Okay, that's that one done. Cool. But don't go into space until you get that down. I know it doesn't really matter, but because I can run away and land anyway, can't we? Yeah, let's do that. Make time. Whee! We'll get the local cops after us now. There we go. Too late, Mr. Cop, I've run away. <laughs> Reinforce is arriving. Yeah, too late. Baymar Orc. Mm. Did I look at the gun, by the way? Um, yeah, I think I did. Right, that should clear the mission so we can abandon all the others. Can't be asked if he's missing. Oh, no, I don't want to do that, you stupid boy. Go away. Hand in mission. Oh, planetary attack. 171. Standing increased. Thank you. Abandoned missions, ground on all the rest. That's it, don't want all them. That's it. Come on. Stop chatting, let me get out, thank you. Right, has it cleared? There we go. Mission abandoned, yeah, yeah. Come on, clear. Up, update, please. I have to wait a few seconds, there we go. Ah, you have been making me rich, friend. I know you, your kind. The fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear, but power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you've enough units, others with the cha others with change that will uh, change the world for you without even realizing. Ask about get history. History. Why would you care about that? Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the first spawn. I ask about the first spawn, the Gek Empire that once decimated galaxies and enslaved the Korvax species. Ah, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek, ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry, all is well, all is at peace. I'll repeat your question. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm, no malice. The Gek changed. Ask how. Must you know? Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss the events of their species past. Is it shame I see in their eyes, or something else? Ask about 16, go straight to it. Don't, don't, you understand, don't you? See it? It never ended. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak a sickly sweet pheromone emerging into the air. The Gek did not change. They they invade, invented our souls. I blink and I am on Balaron itself, homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the centre of the First Spawn Empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. Cartographer Nenster stands next to me, watching what I watch. Tears streaming down their face. 
I see enslaved Corvax move from Gek spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pull out, falling into the fluid of embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek, their conversion to their Atlas, their release of the Corvax. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Corvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters within the unborn Gek. The Gek did not become good, they became Corvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Corvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Um, say they will be free soon. The Gek stares at me, the vision coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Do not judge us, traveller, that our ancestors were altered, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That is nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. Leave. As I leave, I think through what I have learned. The Gek released the Corvats because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to a genetic code. I think of the simulation Nada showed me, their intended heaven for Artemis's soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? Uh, should that part finish? Cool. And we're 26 minutes in. Let's have a look. What we go to now, let's have a look. I just don't remember. <laughs> Not the next atlas. I wish to go. 1616, that's it. Okay, let's speak to Noel. We only go to one planet, which is that one. Let's do a save. So now this will be on to the purge. A scan. Hollow term is detected, and there it is. <laughs> I press X instead of O, normal. It's nice and bright, this planet. Nice blue sky. Oh! Oh, look at these trees. They look so cool. Let's save the location. Fly, fly, fly with me! Come on, time to know. And this is, I think, where I call it after we've spoken to him. And we'll carry on with the next one. There we go. Well then, tell me what you saw, tell me what you learned, tell know what you discovered. I tell now all that I have learned of the Vikings' crusade against the Sentinels, how they were, they nearly succeeded, only to have the barbarism of the Gek Firstborn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Corvax was destroyed by the Gek, the survivors enslaved or melted down. For years the Corvax toiled beneath their oppressors, until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Corvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in their brain. Asked what Noel knows. I was born to travel, to see these worlds, to catalogue them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies, they were mine. 
<coughs> the Atlas told me I could never see them all. There were too many. So I did what I had to do. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It, it laughed at me. I am sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe. Each with another traveller, just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. The things I had to do to get here. The things I had to become. None of it meant a thing. I tried to get away. <laughs> Listen. Oh, 30 minutes already. I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The walls between worlds are falling and that's bad for everyone. Ask how they know. I have been alive for a very long time, Traveller. I know as much as you would know. Had you seen the things that I have seen? All I know is this. The Atlas had infinity to work with and with few exceptions this triad repeats. Gek, Corvax, Viking. Gek, Corvax, Viking. Traders, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming, the only way it knows how. Ask what can be done. And now it won't speak to me anymore. It won't. It, it's chosen you instead. After all I did for it, after... I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about this universe. We are who we are, but you... Whether because of some soul, because of simulation, it does not matter. Why won't it speak to me? Why? Aren't I enough? Null's channel begins to falter. Their holograms begins to fade. They are disconnecting from the holo terminus. End communication. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo's signals signal emerges. Oh, he's back again. The mercenary. Traveller, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Where are you? I'm standing by Holo Terminus. Let's trade location. Let's meet and get off this world. Share coordinates. I share my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place. We are communicating using the same Holo Terminus. We try again, but still the results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? So you don't know. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's language my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone. Tune to Apollo. The holotomus is showing. Are you receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal, broadcasting from the same location on their own world. Agree to meet. We agree to go and find the source of these distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion, this discussion when we get there. Ole. Find the source of the signal. Coordinates received. Okay. It's got to be in the same planet. Because it's the only one here. <laughs> um, let's put it back on the right frigging quest. 16, Master of the Network. Find out the source. Okay. That's another location we've got to go to. But that's from the next video, guys. Let's do a save. And that will lead us to the purge. So, um... That will be starting in the next video. Plus we'll be doing the Atlas as well. Try and get them two done at the same time. Anyway guys, that's gone over my normal time limit. But um, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed that little session. Um, we're now getting on to the nearby part, like I said, for the purge. To get us to our next galaxy. Eventually. So, I thank you so much if you got this far. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheerio for now.